I tell you, we have an amazing evening planned for you tonight. And I guarantee you're going to have so much fun. But before we bring out our guests of honor, uh, Robert and Destiny have some very special people that they would like to recognize. So could I have the parents of the bride and groom please stand? something they would like to say to, you. to our parents. We want to thank all of you for being supportive and encouraging us throughout life and throughout our relationship and teaching us the importance of following our dreams. We know we're not always the easiest people to agree with, but somehow you've managed to put up with and guide us through life's ups and downs. We wouldn't be here and we wouldn't be the people we are today without you. We love you and look forward to all the experiences we will share as our families grow together. Love, Robert and Christine. Would you guys like to meet your wedding party? Books. In fact, he loves them so much 
He can frequently be overheard giving relationship advice to his favorite comic book characters. But Aquaman, you cannot marry a woman without deals. You from two different words. He's a professor at NAU and he loves playing guitar and anything to do with music. Heather's originally from Kingman, Arizona, India. She's still from Kingman, Arizona. She's a gymnastic coach, an EMT, and is in nursing school. She's here tonight with her boyfriend Mike and her beautiful daughter Elena. Put your hands together for John. She gave the term Marco Malfunction to the Now, Marcos is a technical writer at the board and only met the bride and groom about a year and a half ago. He loves playing guitar and soccer and is famous for having a booming singing voice. I've also been told he is so brave that whenever something scary happens and bravery is needed, he can be found leading the charge. Either of them know 
that the thing they loved so much would be instrumental in bringing them together to reveal something that they loved even more. They first met while playing guitar together, uh, playing music together, and she sang while he accompanied her on guitar. From almost their first duet, they both knew there was something special between them. Their first statement was very simple, and if you were to ask Robert, a little bit awkward. <laughs> About that he said, we could both tell there was something there. We went on a night hike and should have kissed for the first time under the moonlight, but didn't. Instead, they went back to her house and settled for a romantic movie, I Robot. <laughs> Their love story picked up the tempo a night when she went to his house in Flagstaff to watch another romantic love story, Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. <laughs> And while holding her close after the credits roll, he said those three remarkable words, I love you. It only took destiny about three seconds to answer him in kind. Now the day he proposed to her will be one neither of them will ever forget. They had just finished dinner and he decided to go home and, you guessed it, watch a movie. There seems to be a pattern here with you two. Destiny had come and put some clothing away before the movie started, and Robert realized that this was the perfect opportunity to go through with his plan to propose to her. Now, in order for his plan to work, he needed some help. <laughs> his accomplice? None other than Liam Neeson. <laughs> and their pet tortoise. <laughs> While Robert was outside, hastily and humanely, tying the room to his shell. Destiny was looking for Robert and becoming a bit worried. She said, Robert was gone for about 10 minutes. I kept calling his name and he wasn't answering. Then just as I was going to look for him, he showed up and said, something was wrong with Liam's shell. Obviously, the answer was to bring him inside, but no, no, Robert wondered, he can't be moved. <laughs> Destiny hurried outside to find out what was wrong as she crouched down to examine the tortoise. She noticed the sparkle of the diamond and the beam of the flashlight. It was at that moment that this love story reached its crescendo and Destiny turned to find her sweetheart on bended knee. He asked for her hand in marriage, and through her joyful tears, she said yes. And Liam Neeson, the tortoise, remained blissfully unaware of the tale of the world in this truly unique tale of love. Their love story is really just beginning, but it has all the makings of becoming a timeless classic. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please rise? It is my honor to introduce to you Arizona's happiest newlyweds.